Hey Matt, it is me, Carla Cecilia, and I want to put a quick video up to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope Santa brings you everything you want, and if you're going to be out partying on New Year's, be sure to do it safely and responsibly. And now that my public service announcement is over, <laughs> um... I want to put a quick video up to continue the chronicles of my transition. And the last time I left it off at basically the point of me making my decision. But before I get to that, I want to put up a quick video about my experiences or my experience with my two relationships. There's a part in Jennifer Boylan's book where she talks about if she could just find somebody to love her enough, then this wouldn't be an issue. And I look back on my relationship and how they started with such passion that it really does seem like that's what I was looking for. I was looking for somebody to love me enough so that this wouldn't be an issue anymore. Hoping that it would go away. And of course it didn't. The dysphoria continued. And as soon as it starts coming back out, of course, having grown up in a Hispanic family, thinking that a male had to be macho, had to be the head of the household, had to be the boss. Um, I really started overcompensating for my femininity. And of course, as you might well have guessed, that didn't go over very well. And it really brought our relationship to a whole new dynamic. And it really seemed to put a wall up. And the more a wall went up, the more the dysphoria would hit. And the more the dysphoria hit, <laughs> the more the wall went up. And it really got to the point where communication was pretty much cut off. All except for like the really important things, things dealing with the daughters. And it really got to the point where I really felt isolated. And it was a lot of my own doing. Because I just didn't want to be around somebody that I felt didn't want to be around me. And so eventually, both of my marriages failed. But I am grateful that I have three beautiful daughters from them. And my girls are totally the love of my life. And although I've put them through something pretty drastic, they continue to be involved in my life. And I'm very happy for that. And so, after having been married twice and being divorced twice, I have gotten to the point where I am extremely cautious with getting involved with people. I love my friends and I love spending time with them. I love spending time with my girls. Wish I could do more of it. But honestly, 
I am very happy right now being single. It has really given me an opportunity to grow and to really experience who I am and to really learn who I am and find, find my passion again because I think I had lost that. And so, life is absolutely wonderful now. And I can't think of anything that would make it better. Maybe I could think of one thing that would make it better. Anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it. You know the routine. If you have comments, post them. If you have questions, post them. If you want to email me, email me through YouTube. Or you can find me again. Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter. Any way you want to get a hold of me. Be happy to talk to you. And again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And as always, be safe. Take care. Love you guys.